Welcome to Lightspeed's video support. I'm Matt, here to show you how to set up your Lightspeed Payment Smart Terminal, connect it to your network, and add it to your Lightspeed Restaurant K-Series back office. It's important that you only use the terminal supplied to you by Lightspeed, because any terminal obtained from a third party won't be configured for your account and could be a security risk. If you need more detailed troubleshooting or setup instructions, visit the link in the description for the Smart Terminal article on our Help Center. Before we get started, make sure you have everything you need. In the box you should find your Smart Terminal, also known as the AMS-1, the Terminal Charging Cable, and region-specific plug adapter. A SIM card is already embedded into the terminal, giving you the option to activate standalone mode on Wi-Fi or 4G. Before you compare your Smart Terminal with your Lightspeed account, you'll need to charge the battery and turn the terminal on. Start by connecting one end of the charging cable into the bottom of the terminal. Then, connect the other end to the power adapter and plug into an outlet. It's recommended that you use the charger that comes with the terminal. The device could take up to four hours to charge the first time after unboxing, but you can begin setup on the payment terminal while it charges. Now, we will turn the terminal on. Press and hold the black button on the right side of the terminal. The Adyen logo will appear on screen. Give it some time to load up. You will then be prompted to connect to your network. Tap Wi-Fi settings. You will now see a list of available networks. Tap your network and then use the digital keypad on the terminal to input your password. Confirm by tapping connect on screen. After a moment, you will see a Wi-Fi symbol appear at the top of the screen and your network will be listed as connected. Tap the back button to return to the main screen. You will now be prompted to board your terminal. This connects your terminal to your Lightspeed Payments account and the K-Series back office. Tap the blue check mark, which will be on screen along with your business information. Give the terminal some time to run updates. This process could take up to 20 minutes, and your terminal may restart several times during the process. Once finished, your terminal will open up on the home screen where you will see the Lightspeed logo. You are now ready to process payments for your customers. If you need to change your Wi-Fi connection or access any of the terminal's other settings, tap Settings on screen. You will then see your various terminal settings, including device info, network, and more. Some settings will have a lock next to them and will require an admin code to access. Lightspeed provided terminals use the admin code 5773. Type the code using the keypad and then tap Continue to unlock. Now let's go to the back office and confirm the network connection. When Lightspeed sends you your terminal, we also configure the connection between your Lightspeed restaurant account and your Lightspeed payments account. To save you time, we add your payment terminal to your back office. Sign in and go to Configuration, Hardware, Payment Terminals. If you have other terminals configured, they will also be listed here. If the terminal doesn't appear in your back office, I'll show you how to add it manually. If Lightspeed added your terminal for you, skip to the chapter on running a transaction. To get started, click Add New Terminal and fill in these four fields. The first field is Terminal Name. You can enter whatever will help you identify your terminal, such as Front Counter or Left Register. For this video, we'll name it Smart Terminal. Next is Terminal Type. Click the drop-down and select Lightspeed Payments dash Adyen. Now enter the IP address of your device. You can also change this information if your terminal is already in the back office. To find your terminal's IP address, go to Settings on the terminal. Then tap Device Info. You will then find the IP address along with other terminal information. Input the IP address into the field in the back office. Finally, we have the terminal ID. The terminal ID must be entered in the following format, model-serial number, with no hyphens in the serial number. You can find the serial number by going into the terminal settings and tapping device info. For this example, we'll enter in capital letters, AMS1-0001681-0001. One nine zero. Once you're ready, click Save and the terminal will be added to your back office.
Before we run a test transaction, let's confirm that your terminal is connected to your POS. In your back office, go to Configuration, Devices, Devices. You should see your POS listed here. Click on the name of your POS or edit on the right in order to access your POS configurations. For this video, we'll focus on the Payment Terminal section. Click the drop down and select your terminal. Any other terminals added to your back office can be selected as backups. When you're done, scroll down and click Update. You will then be returned to the POS selection screen and a notification up at the top will tell you that your configuration has been updated. Now, let's run a test transaction on the POS to ensure your terminal is functioning properly. First, let's reload the configuration on your POS. On the app, tap the three dots in the bottom right of the screen. Three icons will appear. Tap the orange one in the middle to reset the configuration. Wait a moment for the POS to reboot. Once finished, you will find yourself back on the main screen. Now you're ready to run a transaction. Place an order. Keep in mind that this payment will process on your card, but you can refund it later. Select the payment method you use for terminals, and then tap Pay at the bottom of the screen. If you have multiple terminals connected, your POS will prompt you to select one. For this video, we'll be using the smart terminal we just added to your back office. On your terminal, you will be prompted to add a tip. Select an amount or tap No Tip, then swipe, insert, or tap your card. A confirmation message will appear on your terminal and your POS will confirm that the payment is approved. This means your terminal is set up and ready to process payments. If the payment doesn't process, first confirm that your terminal and iPad are connected to the same network. If both devices are on the same Wi-Fi and you're still having issues processing payments, you may have a DNS connection issue. On your iPad, go to Settings, Wi-Fi, and then tap the information icon next to your connected network. Scroll down to Configure DNS. If your DNS is set to automatic, switch it to manual. Now we'll edit your DNS servers. You should see two fields. If you only see one field, tap the Add Server button. In the first field, enter 8.8.8.8. In the second field, enter 8.8.4.4. This will ensure a secure connection between your POS and payment terminal. When you're done, make sure to tap Save. And that's it. You are now ready to process payments for your customers. If you have any questions, view the links in the video description or visit our K-Series Help Center.